all these these classical plays, which we, we touched on a bit, but we were all this rugged Canadian stuff. She goes off with this grand diamond. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's at Stratford learning how to do Shakespeare, right now. So, which is great. Well, that makes a certain kind of sense, doesn't it? If you think of the normal yeah. family where the kids step away from what it is their parents are doing. Yeah. So they, she stayed in the same arena, but did a different kind of theater. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's right. yeah. And, and Rachel? Rachel, what? I've always felt was exceptionally talented as an actress, but too sensitive. So I did say to you, did I not? You did. Don't. <laughs> you're hurting yourself. Be an accountant. Yeah, they were both very good at math. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but, but with Rachel, then after university, it, uh, took up in film and became a camera assistant, right? On um, a lot of film for about 10 years. And now she's gone to teach to college to uh, do some real sets. <laughs> well, but use her ability and comfort to stand in front of an audience, because you're very comfortable standing in front of people and you're going to use it in a different way, which I think is great. So second generation guys, let me ask you this. Was it a help to have successful parents in the same business that you went into, or was it a hindrance to you? Did you feel intimidated by the fact that they'd already succeeded, or, or was that a good motivation? I don't think I ever really thought of it in terms of, you know, that they were so successful, so I would be in the shadow of that. I think it was more just, uh, it's just that sense of exposure, you know, it, of growing up in the theater, of sitting on the stairs at the Stratford Festival and watching these plays, which didn't totally understand, but you knew you were being taken into this magical world, and there was something really exciting that was going on. There was, you know, the creativity and the playfulness and wanting to be a part of that. And then I think it was so it was normal. And having parents in the business, there was never a sense that you're not going to make it or you shouldn't do that or that's not an acceptable career choice. It was always, there, the feeling always was that you go out and do whatever it is that you want to do and you will succeed and you will make it because this is just what we do. This is normal. Is that pretty much what you guys felt? It's an interesting thing that uh, on this business of uh, whether it was easy or whether the way you got prepared, there was an interesting thing that happened in National Theatre School. I don't think it's happening now. But I think that uh, kids of people who are in the business often uh, had a harder time. Yeah, I was leading uh, up to, yeah. In fact, Sever, <laughs> you know, said she wanted to go to National Theatre School. And since Anne had gone there, and, and since I just finished running the place for four years, um, it, I thought she was inviting a, a heck of a load on her, you know, in addition to whatever you're going to learn as an actor to do that. But she was very, very determined. She, she you know, uh, she was courted by uh, U of A, which I thought was a very good training school at the time. And she said, no, no, she knew where she wanted to go, and they turned her down the first year. So she went off to Canada World Youth and, uh, and reapplied. And I think uh, the same thing happened to Lucy Peacock, because her father had actually, uh, well, been head of the theater section of the Canton Council, and at one time had been uh, head of the, uh, the National Theater School. Um, you, you guys yourself, have you had that sensation of people feeling that it's okay for you, your parents are in the business, of course you're going to get work, I mean, and I'm a poor schmuck from up north, up north, and I don't know anybody, and I'm out of the picture, and yeah. you guys are in the loop, do you feel that? Yeah, I mean, there, most actors, or a lot of them come from families who are not artists and they're the black sheep of their family they often you know call themselves and it's like they were breaking ground and doing something kind of daring and unique and kind of and i think a lot of times they'll, they'll look at you know me you know as an actor and they're like oh that's great your parents are actors they they understood you know like they understood what we were going through but then you kind of go there's the flip side of it too that i never had great big romantic notions about acting and about theater you know what i mean like it was you knew what it, it was all real, about. and you saw the good stuff, and you saw the bad stuff, and it was a job, and it was exciting, and it was, it was employment, it was unemployment. You saw the whole thing, right? But a lot of people going into it who don't see that go, wow, you know, they have this romantic notion, and, and then they learn as they go. They learn, you know, it's a real thing. And but I, I would, conversely, I was often envious, like, of when I was first starting out of these people when they were like, you know, the black sheep. And they were rebels. You know, they got to be rebels, and they got to, you know, they were actors, man. And they just didn't get it. And I was like, you know, my parents get it. Because I didn't want to be an actor at first. I was like, no, man, I don't want to rebel against all that openness and that. You know, it was actors, man. Comfy stuff. Pate and oh man, 
Yeah. Like, <laughs> we both rebelled then, against that same uh -huh, thing. Yeah. Actors, the being yeah, the big openness, and everyone's so free. And, and we both decided we weren't going to be actors. But then you realize that it's you know it's you as well, and you find you discover you go, oh, this is an incredible business too. When it's when it's good, it's the best. You know? it's is there an inevitable sort of aspect to all this that once you're e exposed to it and brought up in it, like that's certainly what I feel about myself. That you know, certainly there, I have many other interests and other things I could have done, but there is simply nothing to me like walking into a theater. There just isn't. So. I'm just more at home here, and at home in the idea of it, and I feel like... And there's another interesting issue before we wrap up, which is this whole question of genetics, the sense, and you touched on it when you said that, that, that you and Jeff would sit and watch them and be envious because they had a better sense of timing than you did, but one has to wonder whether it isn't actually passed down in a kind of almost a... I say genetic sense, but sort of uh, general knowledge or out there knowledge that's all around you, and that there's sort of no way of avoiding it once it's in you, it's in you. Well, I think that's true. I mean, whereas a lot of parents you know, hope their children are, children are doctors and lawyers, and I've got a strong sense that my parents were very proud when I decided to become an actor, and that's what made them proud. And it was that, that and they, their faces lit up when we, I decided I was going to go to theater school and I was going to do it. And, and I think in that way, I don't know if it's genetics or, or not, but it is, it's passed down. And they, I think, I mean, it's different for the, the Thompson family, but the I think it's very we were parents. exposed to so much. Like my sister is an actor, um, and I was a second child, and I think there was a pressure for me not to be in it um, and to explore the things. And I got into photography, and I got into, I really want to see real life. Um, <laughs> So I start to explore camera work and documentaries, and I think that lends well to it, this idea of, okay, what is the theater? It doesn't have to be in a theater, which I'm so comfortable with. It's like my religion almost. Like, that's where I feel at home, but the whole world is your theater, like being aware of what is happening in our world. So I think it kind of, like, if you go away from the acting world, and um, quite lovely, yeah, and writing and whatever, the stories and voices, and, what is our culture, all those things keep uh, evolving. Does anyone have any questions or anything that you'd like to ask these wonderful people? I have a, a mic here if anybody wants to ask a question. Can I start off and just say, throw it open to everybody uh, who wants to answer. Is there one bit of advice that child gave parent or parent gave child that uh, has affected the way you approach the business at all? Well, I think that there was something that stayed with me. Um, it was, you know, when looking at spending your life and being in the business, um, the message was um, it, it's not about monetary reward, it's not about fame, it's not about success, that it comes down to the essence of being an artist. And my mother would always say that, you know, our job is to hold the mirror up to nature and therefore people can reflect on life and on and, and get whatever insight they do. And if you're interested in that, then do it. I think I learned from my parents <clears throat> was not to take the rejection personally. And that was one of the best things about growing up in a theater family, an acting family, was I came into it much more open eyes, bigger, wider eyes than, than the other people in my theater school and, and a lot of the hurt and the pain that goes along with this business because it's about rejecting you for what you're doing. You. This is your product. This is it. You're not making a box and someone's saying the box isn't put together properly. It's you who's not put together properly, it feels like, if you're being rejected. Yeah. So growing up, watching this and living with this taught me not to take it personally. So hard. <laughs> <laughs> what about any parents? Did, any, did you get advice from your kids? Or learn anything from your kids? Yeah, I, I think that uh, what's interesting, Maya was talking about uh, you know, how their timing was better. Uh, I'm more, I, I'm fascinated by how at home they seem to be on, this, on a, in a stage, in, in 